Hello and welcome to my overview of NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Slash. So right in front of you we have Slash from the cartoon show from back in the 1987. Well it started right there. Anyways, so we have Slash right here and he have been quite, you know, he got some different appearance all throughout the years or, you know, this is how he actually looked from the show or in the show, but the playmates slash that came out was quite different. Let's put it like that. But they still got some similarities. All right, so let's go over the aesthetics. As you can see, he keeps on with the cell shading style. So that's pretty, not pretty that is. Well, actually it is pretty and it's freaking awesome. And he got these lines, you know, as you can see the, the dark or black lines that keeps popping, you know, kind of looks like he comes straight out of the show. He's really show accurate, especially the head sculpt. Look at it. That is so good. That is fantastic job. He is a snapping turtle. He got this <laughs> smiling face with his teeth. And as you can see, he keeps on with this theme with this light blue all across it from top to bottom almost. He's wearing his um, monocles, kinda, or mask. It's metallic, or you know, it should be metallic inspirational looking. He got his shoulder paludrons, he got, or shoulder pads, he got with some, you know, black lines and dots on it, on cross of it. He got this backpack. The funny thing is about this backpack is his first appearance. He wasn't the most intelligent being, but, and he got sent away, you know, I, I can't really remember, but he got sent away and to the place he got, you know, where he ended up, the aliens on this, who habits that, that planet or that space of time or, you know, anyways, they took pity on him. So they actually, <laughs> I think they thought he was like, maybe too stupid. And they made him this backpack so he could talk. Well, he actually could talk before, but he could talk more intelligent. So he, when he came back, he was a more intelligent being. And he got this British accent. And that's why he got his monocles. No, not really, but he, he came back and he was super smart. Not super smart, but he was smarter than before. Anyways, he got this backpack. He got his shell. And they got some spikes on and you know that is so beautiful it kind of got this light yellow hue to it so and he and, it, and the shell is quite different compared to the turtles and the strap around his backpack is rubber material so it won't hinder his movements or articulation as well as for his paludrons and behind his backpack he actually got some sculpting and some paint job behind so that's pretty nice and the backpack is actually removable if you would like to but yeah I would be mindful about that because if you look at this small strings or not pegs maybe you want to call it this is the only thing that holds the stripe you know so I would be mindful because they can break pretty easily all right so we got his um, front shell which is basically got the same buck as all the other turtles so if you have them there's actually not something really new across you know all across his body except for his head he got his paludrons he got his different hands with some spikes on and these spikes actually they are actually pretty hard and the belt as I said is purple with a skull emblem on and it is somewhat rubber material he got his knee pads and this one these spikes are actually softer 
so it won't break. He got different type of feet, as you can see, with some claws or, you know, even his hands are different. Hell, really nice. And he actually got some sculpting inside of his hand. That is super sweet. And the thing is, he, he kind of reminds of Playmates Slash. You know, the, the first Slash that came out. And the thing is, I believe they thought him he was a little bit too scary to have that Slash in the show. So they sw they switched him up to this one. More, more comic relief, kind of more easy looking at you know not as scary but i don't know i i like the playmates he actually looks so menacing this one is also cool and he's so it's so cool this shell so the thing they kept maybe from you know from their playmates is this kinda the shell his head is on a ball joint so it can rotate 360 and it can tilt actually you can actually look pretty good really good actually look at that and the shell won't hinder his movement so that's really nice he can look down about this much and if you look you can actually see he got some hinge on his neck but i don't seem to get any movement out of it so i don't know I have heated him up, you know, loosen up the joints and whatnot, but yeah, that's how it is. His shoulders are on a ball joint, so they can go up. Be careful so you don't break. So it can go up. It can actually go up further on the other side. About this. If you see it like this. So, and it can rotate, but be mindful so you don't uh, get stuck with the shoulder pads on his shell or you know he rotate at the bicep so he got some bicep swivel he got single jointed elbow or elbows I should say so he can bend them um, about maybe a little bit more about 90 degrees this much and since it is single jointed elbow, you get some forearm rotation so we can swivel 360. He got some wrist rotation so we can swivel it 360 degrees. He can hinge it in and out. He got some type of ab crunch so he can actually, the back of his shell is actually hard. But the, this one, the front is actually soft, so, so he should technically be able to get somewhat ab crunch, you know, but the scope is kind of hindering it. He can rotate at the waist and he, his leg is on a ball joint, kind of look like a ratchet, but it ain't. He can split about that much. Actually, he should be able to split a little bit more bear, but, but he got some thigh swivel so swivel at the thigh he got double jointed knees so he can get really good motion you know range of motion right there and no boot cut he got his his feet can rotate 360 degrees it can tilt down this much and tilt up this much and it got some rockers so you can rock side to side. All right. So you can actually get some pretty good motion. Action poses and whatnot. Look at the balancing. What? Look at that. that is... He looks so fancy. He looks actually really fancy. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> All right. So for accessories, he comes with two guns, well actually one gun and one uh, rifle. He comes with a pepperoni pizza, 
as you can see and he comes with his binky this little palm tree who is made out of soft plastic he comes with his mini self before he transformed and he actually got some pretty nice sculpting right there look at that good paint job and even nice, you know he's so cute <laughs> all right and this he is hard plastic the pizza is hard plastic everything is basically hard plastic except for his binky and the other gun i'm gonna show you later on and he got these two katanas as you can see he got these dark lines in, in the middle of the blade to make it you know i don't know to make it look more <laughs> like a blade or a death to it you know it is pretty sharp this pointy area right here he got some hand guards in you yeah. and it you know he in the show he picked them up from the wall of the technodrome and he chased bebop and rocksteady so <laughs> that was pretty funny back in the days actually it's still funny and if you would like to see the difference between his katanas that comes with slash and the katana that comes with shredder here you have them so it appears that shredder's katana seems a little bit thicker no line work in you know like in the middle different type of larger hand or handle different type of hand guard as you can see so maybe these are his training katanas and this is his actual katana who knows all right and he got a good grip really good they don't seem to fall off he got this rifle it's so good looking it looks so clean with his purple he got some black lines some yellow over here he got some another I, I don't know is this magazine right here another two yellow spots right there you know what I mean he got some sight like this you know some scope and from the front it looks like this this is also hard plastic and he comes with this gun and as you can see it kind of looks like a hair dryer <laughs> I believe this is the gun they used to it's like a mutagen gun who makes you know they transform animals and stuff you know people to turtles or vice versa you know, the other way around so basically, this is how I'm gonna post my Bebop. Look at that. He just transformed Slash, or he, he is about to transform Slash into from this little one to. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I'm Slash. And as I said, you could remove this backpack because it's, it's not glued or anything, but I'm gonna keep him here. You could either pop off of his head to remove it or you could just try to you know angle it around you know get it you know his arms around and whatnot you know all right and you can actually store some of his weapons if you would like i'm gonna store it like this his source like this somewhat on his side look at that that is nice all right let's do some size comparison let's have him beside donatello since he's fighting him in the show when it comes back you know all right so as you can see they are they are using the same standard buck on him you know the body basically everything's the same the only thing I might think about is the no they, it's the same basically except for the head sculpt all right on the side as you can see the shell is different but they kind of keeps the same color on the on the green 
you know it, ca- it kind of looks like maybe it's a little bit shade darker but right and here is the back of it so here's the biggest difference you know except for a head but oh my god i actually i love this shape of, of the shell this might be the mo- my favorite part of <laughs> i don't know but yeah it might be one of the top favorite parts of these cartoon turtles i love this shell that shell is so good Mm-mm-mm. all right let's have him aside his owner And as you can see, he is Bebop is actually towering over Slash. And since it's a two-pack, it comes packed together with Leatherhead. Here we have them together. You can see how much taller Leatherhead is. That is awesome. That is actually really awesome. Oh my God, look! He's also towering. It looks so weird in this pose, but you know. Maybe more like that. There we go. Alright. So there you have him. Slash himself from NECA. The cartoon show. And he, he is so show accurate. Actually he might be a little bit. Could have been a little bit bigger. Because he's a little bit bulkier in the show. But. I don't mind him. I, I mean. I, I like him. I like him a lot. So. Yeah. And he looks so good together with the others you know in this line the whole line is so good uh, yeah <laughs> it's just so good so yeah thanks for watching and if you like it please like and subscribe thank you take care bye